Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Airline Empires here with me, McGeek. You can see we have one out of aircraft, one unread message again. That's just for the out of aircraft. We are making thirty point thirty. We are making thirty four point six million bucks a day. We have six point three billion bucks in cash, and we are up to sixty three. Let's go ahead and enter this world. Let's clear the messages. A three twenty two hundred. You know where that's gonna go. Torino. So 26894 Reno with 5,015 feet for the minimum runway length. Alright, so what are we looking at? Camp fly to New York LaGuardia or Washington Regan National or Dallas Love Field or Cuba. So we're looking right about here. So we'll go ahead and open up three of these guys and the new tab. So here we are. So 125. Euro lines is our competition. Ooh, ooh. All right, so 125 show. That's gonna be if four is 111 plus 25 is gonna be about 136. So that should be good. So five, real quick. Let's move on. Wow, 168. Euro lines, of course. 168 show aircraft. Sure, we'll use up the rest of you. 168. Five. Yeah, we'll see what five plus the one Avro RJ does. Here we'll, we got 111 out of 125, so we got to do one more. There we go, and then we should be good to go from Reno to Richmond. Yeah, 12 out of 18, and 133 out of 125. Doing real good, better than Euro lines. Close here, we're looking at 123 at 168, so we need about another 40. So, two more. Going to Geg or Spokane, Washington. Now we are at 160. Oh, that's close enough. So, you can see we now push them out of the market. That's another 56,000 in our bucks a day. 76, that's going to be three. Hey, look at that. That's absolutely perfect. Nasu, Linden Piddling. Pid piddling, not piddling. Oh darn it, that's not perfect. Close, but no good. That's okay, we'll leave it there. Now, real quick, we can take a look at our route map. Maybe. There we go. Look at that, the US is filling in with orange. Wow. So yeah, you can see we're doing pretty good. You can see uh, quite a few planes came in. Speaking of, try place your bets now for how many aircraft we have. From 136 aircraft. Wow. <laughs> routes, take your, uh, or place your bets now for how many routes we have. 825 routes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can imagine. I mean, even look at this route. Only making us 594 bucks a day. But you know what? It's only 43 miles. So, yeah. We have 825 routes. I think that's what that means, right? But the number of destinations only says 399. So I'm kind of cons... Oh, yeah. Because a lot of these might be from a hub to somewhere else. And then there might be one, well, for example, MSN to Denver. And there might be one from, like, Reno to Denver. So Denver is one destination. And Reno is one destination. And MSN is one destination. But when you have multiple coming out of MSN to all sorts of destinations that Reno already goes to, those destinations aren't counted then, so... We do have 825 routes, but we only have 399 unique destinations, so that's still a ton. And you can imagine trying to look through all 825. Yeah, I, I, it's very hard. I do about once every five episodes. You can see we have 25 A320 200s coming in. We have one more Avro RJ70 coming in, and we have eight 767 300ERs coming in. Now, what I've noticed at MSN, at least is uh, that there are quite a few routes with like 5 and 9 and 6 so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our aircraft real quick and see if we can figure that out 
And I already kind of have an aircraft in mind. There we are, right here. The CRJ-100, 50 seats, and it's only 26 miles less than what the other plane can do, so it should be able to reach those. Oh, wait. Look at this. CRJ-200 LR, 50, but 1,500. Wow. That is good. That's really nice. In fact, what's ours like? RJ-70, 94. Ooh, yuck. So, yeah, we're going to be ordering some of these um, CRJ-200 LRs. Uh, bye. And we are going to take... How many of these do we want? Probably, what, ten? And... Darn it. I have to create a new config real quick. This is the CRJ... What are we looking at? CRJ 200LR. Can't believe I forgot that already. ABCRJ... Why are they not? Oh, Bombardier CRJ. Okay. There it is. Create new config. First class none. Now with less, we probably only need, what, two? And then the rest, we'll do 46, yeah. Continue. And we got business coach. And we are going to call this CRJ 200LR. Yep, save. And now, you can see our RJ-70 has four, and it was almost double, so that should be okay. Two and 46 should be just fine. So now that we got that all set up, we got the refresh. Do I want to confirm form resubmission? Yes, I do. Again, we'll take 10 of those with that config. You know what? 15, what the heck? Negotiate, how much is that going to cost? $160 billion. My goodness, these airlines must have loads of money to be able to afford stuff like this. So our first is, wow, in the month, September 18th, and our last will be in January 20th, 1994. Confirm. So yeah, before, oh, hey, look at that, there we are. Fresh Airways. Boom, 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 boom. So anyways, I want to get most of our hubs, you know, flying to almost every possible destination they can before we open up a new huge hub with the huge planes that come with later game. Here real quick, I can show you guys. Uh, where are we looking? I'm kind of looking at the... Like the 787-8. Uh, that's really end of game. 787-9, 747-8, 800 Right there's what I'm really getting at. Right there. To be announced in 2007. So we have 14 years to uh, figure out our routes. Make sure they're all going to every possible place they can. And then from there, you know, we will be ordering the big planes. So, anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, if you want more content. And until next time.